And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz as our next Rank Up Sunday deck today. Played this last Rank Up Sunday. It did well. Uh, we're going to play it again. This is one of my favorite decks to play. As as you know, that's what I uh, labeled it the last time. And, uh, and it's just a, it's a deck that I play um, off stream whenever I'm, I'm just uh, wanting to play some games. I love how low our curve is with 25 of our 40 cards costing zero, one, or two. And I even, I've even lowered the curve since we played it last time. Changes I've made is I did take out the sleight of hand and the strong arm, the other steel cards um, that used to be in here because I was just, I played, a, a, you know, by playing a lot of games, there's a lot of times like where they were stuck in hand and it was really hard for me to turn on plunder. And so I ended up getting rid of the sleight of hands and the strong arm. It's just difficult to get great use out of them. So instead of the strong arm, I got the third Riptide Rex back in here because this card is just absolutely amazing. And then uh, besides that, I wanted to lower the curve. I got one Warning Shot, uh, which is not a great card, but it can, it can turn on our plunder for our cards that really need plunder turned on. Um, you know, Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods, Riptide Rex. Um, and it can protect Fizz. You know, it can be a zero mana spell that protects Fizz. So we got one warning shot. And then I, I'm adding a Yi Ben Warned as just a one mana trick that can hopefully draw us a card, be a removal spell. Um, you know, it's just another one mana card. So got got those in here instead. But yeah, we're trying to, um, you know, have really efficient cards with all these cheap things, but still have a lot of card draw with, you know, twist with basically everything drawing cards like black market merchant pilfer goods twisted fate jaw hunters gets you another card yordle grifter gets you cards spray fin gets you cards so you don't run out of cards because of all of these things um drawing cards for you but you still can be really efficient and uh hopefully get under opponents like that all right so let's go play five games we're gonna go play some games over in ranked and try it out and then we'll have Karina Control up next. And then the Lucian Fury is kind of like, you know, it's like Demacia splashing Freljord for Fury of the North and Sejuani and Obenhawk and Babbling Beard. But it looks pretty interesting. It was a deck from uh, decksofruntera.com. And so we're going to try that deck out. Okay. Make It Rain has actually been a card that has been disappointing me more and more. I was like, I was like Make It Rain's not in a great position in the metagame. So I kept Sprayfin as a card that you know, replaced itself and everything. That's a great draw, that Black Market Merchant. That's a perfect draw. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Perfect turn two play right here. Blood and guts, golden glory. Beast below. I will play my part. Alright, let's go and play the zap spray then. Can't say no to fizz. Silent as death. And my opponent knows they can't say no to fizz. Let's see. Let's fell into him. Pull that. Let's do this. I guess if they have Remembrance, they'll be able to play a 3-mana Remembrance. That could be bad for me. You cannot escape.
Who to save? I kind of like this playful trickster card. I think the card's underrated. Alright, so they definitely have Radiant Guardian. This 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 deck's kind of like the opposite of our deck. Like our deck you want to like block all the time to make sure plunder is not turned on. Their deck, you like don't want to block and trade to turn on Radiant Guardian. Here's a big one. Well, that's too bad. So they get a Radiant Guardian. I guess if I would have just started with Fizz, I would have had Deny. I could have denied that. I would have started with Fizz instead of Beast Below. Justice will be served! Harvey's just rolling around, having a good time. Radiant Guardian could be a problem. I don't have a great solution for. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Alright, let's mess some folks up. So I'm wary of casting make it rain. And then not having to deny build, then they have like a single combat. All right, so I could this to your bill. could make a rain now, but I want to play shipwreck hoarder and tap deny. Three teeth told me about this one. Riptide Rex, no. Harvey, were you having fun rolling around? The order rewards its faithful. I want to block an Elixir of Iron. don't have deny available so we're we're definitely do I let do I let these trade it's the main question Set the hooks. The coral. I think so not a full attack I'm not gonna attack with the 4-4 and let them have the radiant guardian block the 4-4 
That means I don't get to Riptide Rex now, unfortunately. Because I played that Elixir of Iron. Be a great time to rip Tyrex too. Yep, yep, yep. Wouldn't mind drawing more Pilfer Goods. This is a great Pilfer Goods matchup. By more, I mean a, any Pilfer Goods. Karma. Well, I guess I have this thing to try to kill Karma. Riptide Rex is still great, though. Yeah, it takes out Lux. It's just such a great A drop. Took out Lux, took out Eye of the Dragon. Delta damage, dealt two damage to them. Hopefully this works. Oh, health potion. Blip. An auspicious season. Alright, got leveled up those. Give me something good. The answer lies with oh, the Riptide Rex. The Pilfer Goods. Alright, Sprayfin's not bad. So I play Sprayfin pre combat. No, I probably just have to go to combat. Okay, so we're going to attack. Attack, attack, attack. attack, attack. I don't know, maybe I should have played free combat. Peace has its cost. They just generated judgment. That would have been ridiculous. Alright, I'll take that. Um, you said, I, I heard that Lux Karma don't really care about the stealing because you get closer to the Lux Karma. Well, it is true. The spells that they steal are good, and they you, know, you can find, like, Will of Ionia to, to help get rid of Lux and Karma. Hmm. I guess that's the problem with putting E-Ben Warned in the deck. Sometimes you draw that instead of pull for goods. The sun is shining. We should too. No, you shouldn't. Why would they cast that on Fizz? Like, what are they doing? 
literally your target like anything else. What are you doing targeting the Fizz? Just counter both of those. If they don't have another spell to play, like if, if they have one, they'll still be fine. If they don't have one, okay, yeah, they still have another spell to play, so they're still fine. I've been hiding my light too long. If they didn't have, imagine if they didn't have that health potion, how over this game would have been if we would have been able to kill that karma. But I don't know. Also, maybe I should have played that Zap Spray in pre combat. I play it pre-combat, I can have the, you know, it's it's also, you know, it's a, yeah, we're playing this pre-combat. Darn it. That was not a good card to, to, to have. I really wanted a spell. Oh, then they're going to Remembrance. Remembrance is actually really annoying. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that pre-combat. Definitely if I, if I knew I was going to get a Badger Bear. We just had any spell, like not a creature, just get a spell. We could play that, give the Fizz elusive, have the warning shot to protect Fizz, and the game's over. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could do this Yi Ben Ward at slow speed. Gives them the opportunity to do something else again. Or I just go to attacks. What are they gonna have for five mana? You're boring. <laughs> Alright, so my attacks look like we know the value of coin. They look like that. Right now, this thing would overwhelm over for one. They can't block this. They would only be able to block one other thing. So they'd have to, like, they'd have to have, use removal on Longtooth and removal on Zap Sprayfin. Yeah, I guess that's all they would need. So they need two removal spells. I don't know if that really helps. By force of will. So I guess they still need to remove all of these things. It was kind of messy. Probably should have just gone straight to attack because of the Om even if the like I was thinking like the Omenhawk's not lethal beam if the Omenhawk hits like 
Um, it's one damage, then I can play the Yordle Grifter post combat and get the um, get the warning shot. It's kind of messy, but we got there. Zed Fiora, man, I hope make it like. So the thing is, like, will make it rain actually kill anything, or will it make a difference? I hope so. Like, make it rain pairs with with the red card from Twisted Fate, and it also pairs well with Omen Hawk being a chump blocker, and with Parlay. <laughs> Unfortunately, Riptide Rex is probably the worst card to Omen Hawk. Because it really doesn't matter if Tyrex is a 7-4 or an 8-5. Like, that just doesn't really matter. That is probably our worst Omen Hawk target. I long for a worthy opponent. Hmm. I never... Oh, God! Second Riptide Rex. Second Rex. That's that's the card against specifically against my deck. That that is just that is the card. You've got to trust your instincts. Yeah, this is the, yes, this is the, I mean, I guess you can call it a Zed one turn kill deck, I guess, but yeah, this is a standalone aggro. <laughs> Which they've had, uh, that's just an amazing hand, good, GG's. To find pilfer goods or black market merchant, I need to steal a will of Ionia from them. Yeah, they had a Fiora, a Zed, two standalones, and the tough card. That's just, just perfect. Why can't we ever get pilfer goods? We haven't seen pilfer goods in any of these games. My life for the order. Yeah, 
perfect hand. That is a that's a very high roll deck. I actually really thought about playing that today, but decided to go with the Lucian Fury instead. When you have amazing hands with that deck, you beat everything in the format. And with all the Demacia running around, I feel like that's that's making that deck a good choice again, because I think it's a real good choice against Demacia that has uh, not very much interaction. But yeah, getting two champions, two standalones. And the Chain Vest. Chain Vest was so key against me as well. GG's. Alright, so this is regular old Demasi again. Again, Make It Rain hasn't looked good yet. We got some Starlet's ears. We see through all. Break their spirits and their swords. Protege, that card's good. Oh, come on, come on. I don't have I don't have great scenarios of this playing out. This will not take long. Darn, that was the worst block that I could see though. I really wanted to hit was Protege. Like that was the card that I really wanted to hit. Like if I could just choose one and then the other two are random, Protege was the most important. Run them through. I get to do that now. Fly away while you can. Well, that's not the worst for me. attacking and you know getting to trade with the war chefs i've used a lot of cards as you can tell We're quite behind on cards but hopefully our card draw makes up for it i'm not greedy my friends though So yeah, I couldn't play Starlight, the, my other Starlight Seer beforehand because I, I wanted to kill the Protege before they attacked. But I guess if they were going to just attack with the Grizzled Ranger, which was likely, maybe I should have played the other Starlet Seer. Time to get rounded.
I, I should have just blocked with the tracker also, in case they had like a tough card. Those are two good cards to take. Those are a couple of good ones. Vi stands Ouch. I Speaking of good cards. Yep. Sorry, Fizz. better when you draw pilfer goods. Life is better when you draw pilfer goods. This would be a good winter. Safeguard our citizens. Oh dang. That thing big. Okay, so it went three and four. Okay. I've, long thought, I have long thought that make it rain it should be caster chooses one, defender chooses two. I think that also just kind of makes the card kind of like too difficult and kind of too annoying to cast you know like it would really take you know like you're you're looking at a card that would like take a while to play because you like you have to play it then you target something then it goes to the other person they have to choose a couple of things and then it goes and then it goes on the stack there's not really cards like that that you're you know there's just not any cards like that that your opponent chooses but it also I don't know I don't know if they want that you know, it's a lot of, like, clicking and everything for one card. And, you know, if your your opponent takes it, then if they have, like, different options, like, they could be thinking a while. Yeah, you're just not a fan of the randomness, which makes sense. But if you if you kind of think of it from from just also from a flavor perspective, the randomness makes a lot of sense. That you're just like, you know, throwing some cannon barrages at them, you know, making it rain with cannon with cannonballs, and you don't know if it'll be that effective or not. Maybe it, you know, maybe your your cannon shots hit the target, maybe they don't. I think it makes a lot of sense flavor wise if you, if you just kind of think of like in battle if you just like fire some cannons. Nothing escapes my watch. Uh, I don't even know if I, sh I should even be doing this. I kind of like doing that. Thing to do. ah, an auspicious season. 
So Mega Rain is Misfortune firing her little handguns up in the sky. Yeah, that was... That was not a good use of that card, because I have the red card right now. Like, that was not a good use of that card. Jumpy, <laughs> puppy wanted to jump up here. Uh, I have the attack token. Nah, I'm good. It's a good draw. I like that playful trickster card. It's underrated. Should I do pick a card? Maybe I'll just do pick a card right here. Yeah, let's do that. This will be a good winter. No. Survivor to protect that. Oh, now I really wish I didn't do that. Pick a card. It's Twisted Fate, gold card. Would have killed that. Mm. This didn't work out super well. Look at nine mana. Like, I got, like, this huge fizz. Over there. Yeah, these are all fleeting. Yeah, maybe I should just let that. Maybe I should just play the Big Fizz instead of even playing that Trickster. I would have let the Starlet Seer die, or maybe I just should have played the other, the other one as like that Trickster and used the Big Fizz as like my card instead of doing the Fleeting. That's that's probably like where I think I messed up. I think I probably should have done the other one as that card. Stop. I'll lead us Ash is so victory. good. Ash, why are you so good?
Okay, so the second Riptide Rex. So I was planning on doing this and then seeing if we hit hit them and then Riptide Rexing. With the second Riptide Rex, maybe I want to just attack for two and then play Rex and then... And then next turn I'll have Make It Rain plus another Rex. Why not have another Harsh Winds? Why not? <laughs> oh my gosh. Game's over. Crazy. I need just a moment. Come on. Take a glory seeker that also can't block. Come on. This is the worst luck this game. Basically everything, like nothing worked out. Basically. Playing that pick a, the biggest mistake I had there was playing that pick a card. That pick a card was horrible. And if I just don't play it, if I just pass, they kill my twisted fate. I have a back, I have the backup twisted fate to gold card the ash. Everything just went downhill from there. And then I had like the, you know, cause then we made, because we pumped up the stuff with Starlet Seer, so I think kind of learning that like pumping up stuff with Starlet Seer and then using pick a card and making it bleeding is pretty poor. Because then you're like priced into playing it right then, especially when it was like you know we drew the two fizzes, the other two fizzes. So we had to like use like those champion spells. It was just, or I think there's no way they killed the Twisted Fate. I should should have just untapped then. Should have just untapped. Not attack. Fear beyond. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. No, I would not want suit up whatsoever. Honestly, don't know if this is worth it. Ah, an auspicious 
season. The thing that I like about using that mana instead of having three ma three spell mana spell mana saved is that I can play Zap Spray Fin again and get that extra spell mana again. I don't really like just attacking because they could have two burst speed spells and then they would have the claws of the dragon come down. So it's attack for two with the spray fin, or let this pass turn happen. I'm gonna let that pass turn happen. Just wanna keep on passing turn, huh? Yeah, you don't wanna class me. Hmm, we mess with the Ordal Grifter? Quiet steps. The dragon approaches. Blessed by snow and stars. My selection speaks for itself. Not bad, not bad. That's my opponent doing. They're trying to be super tricky getting these things into play. What should we do in blue card? So I can still have deny and then have twin disciplines available. I like having removal spell. those twin disciplines. This is a lot to burn. From a cloudless sky. Dead in their tracks. They discarded a spirit's refuge and a will of Ionia in order to do that. Do I trade a Starlet Seer away? Maybe nice to clear up the one spot on my board, but Starlet Seer is really good. Nah. You lack subtlety. Spring raindrops. We're gonna have something that's gonna be really big. We just played two spells there, you know, so we're gonna have another plus four plus four thing at the minimum. Order entropy, a never ending cycle.
Now it's gonna be plus five, plus five. We got some stuff that's good against. We got some stuff that's good against one toughness things. Now it'll be plus seven, plus seven. About to be nine. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> Made it myself. <laughs> plus nine, plus nine. Wait, actually. I think I just have Deny available. Why are you here? Like, this is probably fine. Something that's plus nine plus nine on top. It's smaller than a diagram. Hmm. Trust your instincts. I think it's okay to play stuff pre combat against a deck filled with spells like they are. I think, but I could be wrong. A fine spectrum of pyrotechnics. Okay, so they get an 8 8. Yeah, so I did, I ye be warned the turret instead of the Heimerdinger, because I just don't think it's it's that likely that we kill Heimerdinger. I thought they would have uh, something to protect Heimerdinger. It was Omen Hawk. I got the plus 12, plus 12, and plus 11, plus 11. My most groundbreaking invention to date! <laughs> Is a pretty buff hawk. Yeah. I'm 
Hammerdinger being leveled up is a problem. Shoot, shoot! That was years in the making! I need to draw one more card. This would be a good winter. Something that draws a card to level up this twisted fate. Card draw. Ooh, that's card draw. It is slow speed, but it's card draw. Hey, Bean. Twisted Fate. Who says we're not playing big creatures? We got some pretty big creatures over here. So I could go like double parlay on the Heimerdinger and try to have the red card kill the Heimerdinger. Or start with the parlay here. Get rid of this barrier. card now. Alright, sweet. Three and two. It was in the card. It's a fun deck to play. I like playing this one. Yeah, we just went three and two. That fourth game, we had a lot of bad luck that fourth game. But I like having all these cheap cards. I would say that the, the Yee Ben Warned didn't didn't really play that well. I mean, it did that last turn, you know, we did get to uh, vulnerable something and draw a card to help out our Twisted Fate. But that card, this slot could still probably be better. Um, it may be worth it to play like a Brittle Steel or two. You know, we really don't want our Yordle Grifter to miss. That's the thing. His Yordle Grifting, Grifter missing is pretty bad. I've thought about playing like one Pocket Aces. But it's kind of expensive to be like a a bad el elixir of iron, basically. Um, I've thought about playing like one abyssal eye, but we we can create abyssal eyes with the jaw hunters. I've actually really thought about playing one scrap shot as a big removal spell. Um, you know, like something to kill, like, you know, six mana Scythria, basically. Um, or a Radiant Guardian. I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about playing one scrap shot? You think we should play a Mind Meld in that slot? Mind Meld is just not, not very good. I mean, I guess we, we can just make our, yeah, all of our things really big one turn, but, eh. It's slow. I don't know. I don't love it. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with one warning shot, but not not super satisfied. But I'm pretty satisfied with one warning shot. Um, other cards I think about playing is Jagged Butcher. Think about just just playing another you know another one drop, but one from uh, Bilgewater. I like you know Omenhawk's great, but. You know, we don't want too many Freljord cards. 
which is, you know, which is the thing. So could see playing like one Jagged Butcher. Uh, could see playing one, um, like one like hired gun maybe. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this Yi Ben Warren slot. I want it to be a bilge water card, but there's just not one that like definitely stands out as something I really want. Like I said, it was sleight of hand before, but the sleight of hand was getting stuck in hand too much whenever I was playing the deck. Um, maybe it's supposed to be salvage. Maybe I play salvage. I don't know. It's another salvage is just another four drop. Like we have like infinite four drops. I thought about Devourer as like a you know a six mana card that could be removal. Also, like may maybe we play Devourer. I don't know. This card is great against Grizzled Ranger. It's obviously more expensive than Grizzled Ranger, but it could be a, a good answer to Grizzled Ranger. I'm also not sure like if Sheriff Lariat Rose would be real valuable whenever you're playing a bunch of smaller things. Hey Reaper. So if you have um those of y'all watch on YouTube, if you have like any of those cards that that you think are really good that you uh, that you really think I should be playing, you know, let me know. Let me know what Bilgewater card. If there's anything you'd play over Yi Ben Ward, what would you play? Why? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Anyway, that's it here for Twisted Fizz. Yeah, Devour can be easily countered if you're not deep, and and we wouldn't be deep very often. It would. It would mostly be a 4-4. And again, Devourer is another card that sometimes we'll make from Jaw Hunters. Remember, we got the three Jaw Hunters in here, which are awesome. I, I really like them. But, you know, they will create random sea monsters for us. So we don't necessarily need to put, like, more sea monsters in the deck. Probably. But, yeah, also, uh, yeah, those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button as well. And let me know. What would you do with that you've been warned a slot? Alright, but that's it here for Twisted Fizz, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.